going on, guys? It's your boy, Sister here. We have my Photoshop tutorial. We have this cool little text effect tutorial here today. It's the Plexix text effect. I thought it would be pretty cool to start showing you guys some more effects. I see in the comments that you guys want to see more effects tutorials and rather than just like whatever it may be. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do both, of course. I know a lot of you guys still love what I do right now, but whatever. I just want to show you guys more that I want to see, though. I want to see if you guys will like to see kind of things like this. I can do videos like this a lot. I, I really can. Just please tell me. Uh, in the comment section, or please just leave a like. I want to see if it hits 200 likes on the first day, then I understand that you guys would like to see stuff like this. That'd be awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, anyway, this is pretty much the example I have here. It says Plexus, P L E, and then X U S, and a little Plexus kind of style. You guys don't know what Plexus really is. Uh, it's pretty much just like circles and lines. That's basically what it is. And everything you see here is done by me, besides this little stock in the background, which is just a stock from Google, which is basically this thing right here. Uh, I'll show you guys later, but anyway, the only thing that's not what I did here is this little stock here, but the this little one I did here, the little Plex little box thing here around the X and U and S, I did do as well as like the pen tooling out the X and U and S as well as I did as well, I did that as well, but pretty much all we're going to do in this video is going to be using the pen tool and using like the ellipse marquee tool and the, uh, the rectangle marquee tool, that's pretty much all we're going to be using in this video, so it's very simple to do like tool wise it's not too much on the hard like hardship on your brain or whatever so it should be pretty easy let's get going in today's tutorial right now alright come on let's get this going so pretty much I'm just gonna start off with a white canvas here and we're gonna use like I said before I don't know if I said it did I say it already but what I used was the plexus uh, not the plexus the long shot font and the reason why I use uh, the long shot font is because it's it's really good font for one but the reason is the plexus would only really work if it was like a boxy font like a, a like something like this a boxy with like sharp uh, uh cuts or edges or whatever with no like like really what do you call it curves or whatever because that would really work uh really work so excuse me pretty much the boxy effect is what i really want to use so i would say anything that looks like like this or whatever or whoever has a boxy font to it uh like basically what i'm trying to say is don't use fonts like like this eh, it's pretty good I mean it's whatever you can use something like this maybe but you see it's gonna be very hard to do the curve ones because you because when, when I pencil it out you have to use like distinct but you only have to like really pencil out the distinct uh, I guess like I said the curves or the the corners of the letter so you can actually see what the letter is without completely penciling it out so it's gonna be harder to do like curves so I would try and stick with a boxy font that's pretty much what I want to tell you that's the only thing that's gonna make this look weird otherwise you should be good to go alright so Right now, we're going to start off with, like I said before, we're going to use the pen tool. So press P on your keyboard to bring up the pen tool. And if you have a crosshair, it's just because you have to press cap locks to bring up the little uh, light bulb looking thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pen tool out the X and the U and the S. Now, like I said already, what I'm basically doing is I'm going to start right now. And I'm just going to pen tool out the edges. And also, I'm going to hold shift because it's a, it's all straight lines. So if I hold shift, it only will make straight lines wherever I go, right? Uh, unless I'm clicking like, ri like ridiculously. But like pretty much if I'm always clicking... And like areas like this, it will always make straight lines. That's what I'm doing that for, holding shift. So I'm gonna just hold shift the entire time. I'm just gonna go around these spots where I can make sure that people will understand that this is an X, you know? So I'm gonna go around these the four corners really quickly. Uh -huh. Boom. Like so. If you wanna fix it, all I gotta do is hold control, highlight the two points, and then use your arrow keys. Just a do a little simple hot fix. And there we go much that's that now if you want to see what you're doing you can just lower the opacity of the text so why not right you can see here there we go okay something like that now I'm just basically penciling out the parts just enough so you can see that this is an X right so the, all the very the hard like you know whatever makes the letter the letter so pretty much like the little points right here like the little curves here that's pretty good so if I just unshow you that like you can kind of just think that this is like an X you know, the whole point of this is just to make it look really, really cool, like the text are that look really cool. That's why I don't want, I really, really recommend for doing the entire uh, letter of a, like the entirety of a letter, but like only like half of the word. Well, that's pretty cool doing the entire thing. But if you want to make it look like the letter, you have to at least pen tool out most of the letter, but just cut out where you basically don't want it. Um, or basically where you don't need it, actually. Uh, by the way, what I did here is I did not, you can see that I, none of these points are connected. They're all like one, like singular, like pass on their own. So the way that I did that is I, all I did was I hold shift, right? I'm holding shift with the straight lines. I'm going to just do this to you really quickly, but I'm not, you can see already, I'm not going to just go ahead and just, like I say, I want to start over here again. I'm not going to just gonna already just click and go for it because that's going to leave like, you know, an extension. You can see that this is where I, you know, started at. Uh, we'll finish that for this little segment, but for the start this segment out on its own, 
I have to press control. Otherwise, you can see what it just happened. It just connects. I don't want it to connect. Right now, I'm right where I would stop right here. I would hold control, just click somewhere on the canvas, which is perfectly fine. And then this way, this unchecks, like basically unlike, uh, like unpaths this path. And I can just start a new path just like so. And that way, that's what that's how I'm doing it. So that's why I keep making different segments. So that's what I'm going to do again. Hold control. Hold control. Make sure I click it. And that's pretty much all I'm doing here. Because if I don't, like I said, if I try to start over here, it would connect. And I don't want that. It wouldn't look cool. Unless you want to do it like that, which is not an awful idea just because it is plexi. And it's like very, just very line heavy, which you'll see in a second. Um, pretty much I'll just do something like that as well. And then for the S, I'll do this do as quickly as well. Pencil that. This. Uh -huh. And there we go. That should be all of it. Uh, why not this part either, as well? All right, cool. Drive that down. Uh, maybe this as well. Cool. So now if I just uncheck this really quickly, you can see, you can kind of like sort of see what I was talking about. I only penciled out the parts where you can have really distinct where the letter, what the letter is. So this is the X, this is the U, and this is the S. So that's pretty much step one of the whole entire process. Now, if you do not have your path tabs up, you have to go to Windows, Paths, make sure that is checked. Otherwise, you will not be able to do it. I'm going to show you in a second. Because when you're working with work path, which is your pen tool, you must make sure that this is unselected when you're doing anything in the layer. Because what we're going to do right now is going to delete the the uh, the other part of the X, the U, and the S, and this one right here. We're going to rationalize this layer really quickly, right? Because we're going to delete this out. But if I were to go ahead and show you in a second, I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool just to highlight this really quickly and delete it. If I were to use this and press delete, no matter what, even if I'm not showing this tab, if I press delete, it's going to delete the path. You can see if I uncheck this, the path is gone. If I check over here, the path is gone. So make sure if you're doing anything, make sure you click on paths and then you just click somewhere around this little box here. That way it's unchecked. So now if I click over here, press delete on my keyboard, delete this only, it will not delete the path and I can just select the paths again and then we're here. So make a new layer. And pretty much you have either two choices. I would recommend the second choice in a second. I'll show you the first choice just because, just in case you want to know it. But if to uh, fill in your path with a little line, you can do either right click, stroke, right uh, tool, uh, drop down tool, pencil. You can do it with this, or you can do a brush. I'm going to suggest brush only because if I, I'm going to show you in a second, if I press OK with the pencil, and if I just show you where my pencil or path isn't, you can see that all the diagonal lines, and it's, I don't know why this happens. It might be because of like the DPI or the resolution of the um, the document, but mine is at 200 resolution. That's not bad at all for what I'm in the canvas that I'm in. But you can see mostly all the time, whatever I, whatever, whatever happens, I always get these diagonal lines that are just very pixelated. So the only way for me to go around that, I don't know if it happens to you, maybe your DPI or resolution is different with a nine uh, when, when it works in the path or whatever, or the document, excuse me. But you can just use a, a basically a, a brush path. So pretty much I'm going to press B on my keyboard, right click on it, and I'm going to change my size of the brush of whatever it is to two. And I'll make sure I'm just going to change my hardness. Well, I'm going to make sure I click on one of these, by the way, like one of the circle ones, which are on default brushes as well. So pretty much this one, which is the 100% the hardness brush. No matter what, though, the brush is always going to have a little bit of like the blurriness because it is a brush. But two sides is pretty good. That's going to give us a nice little skinny line here. And then on this new layer, we'll just do like I did before. Right click, uh, stroke path, drop down, brush this time, though. Make sure our foreground color is black. Uh, otherwise, you can just have the uh, color overlay on the layer. But pretty much press OK. Right click, delete path. Oh, I'm not going to delete it just yet. Really no reason to. But now you can see, like I said, like, there's only going to be blurriness to this unless you want to duplicate it one time or so or maybe two. Uh, just so it gets like nice and thick or not so blurry as before. And then we'll just merge this together with control uh, clicking on and then press control E to merge them together. And this is the XUS, right? And this is the PLE. So I'm going to name that the way that is. So pretty much we're doing like that first step where you get that little cool little... Uh, little lines like this so pretty much all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the circles really quickly so I'm gonna do that right now why not press new layer press M on our keyboard and this will bring up the elliptical marquee tool you want to click on that and pretty much we're just gonna make a nice small circle not too big of a circle I should say that's okay I'm gonna make it a different color just for now so I can show you where all the circles are going so pretty much I'm gonna do hold alt I'm just going to make sure I'm holding all, and that way when I drag this layer or when I drag this little dot, it's actually going to make a duplicate. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to, I'm going to speed this up just a little bit because so, I know this is time consuming. So give me a second. So 
So pretty much I'm almost done here. You can see kind of like where I'm going with this. I'm not putting in all the spots, like all these little, uh, where I put like an endpoint or a little dot at both the endpoints is fine, but like close together like this, I don't wanna really do it there because I feel like it would just mess the flow up. So this is pretty good the way I'm going right now. And now if you want to as well, I'll put, nah, I don't wanna put one here, it's too close. Uh, if, I, if I also wanted to uh, make sure I group all these layers in the right selection, I would have done that previously. But right now, I'm just really not caring. But I would say, suggest that each like circle that you did for each letter is done. Make a group for that, and then just make another new circle uh, for the other layers, just so it's not like all can like you know really messy right now. It's really really messy. I don't like when my Photoshop's messy. I would advise you to remember to do it. Anyway, for now, it's just for the tutorial purposes. I'm just gonna shift click on all these. I'm gonna group them together. All of they're all different letters, but I'm just gonna do it just for now. And we're just gonna call this circles for X U S. And that'll be good enough for now. So pretty much now is all the part where you're gonna have to like work with the lighting effect. Cause the Plexi is a lot about the lighting effects. So I'm gonna show you how I, I would do the lighting really quickly, just so I can show you, you know, where the effect really starts to shine, like makes it look cool like this, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. So pretty much I have this hidden here, and I'm just gonna change my color of these layers really quickly. So the PLE, I'm gonna change to white, because that's the, the main little text here, right? I'm going to change uh, what the circles to white? So I'm gonna just copy that and paste that there. And I'm gonna change the XUS to a different color though. Or just change it to what did I have before? Yellow, I think. Like something like kind of nice. That's a nice little yellow, right? So there we go. Looks pretty cool so far. But what we're gonna do is work with, like I said, the lighting effects right, really quickly. So all we have to do though, it's very simple to be honest. So all we gotta do is just pretty much just shift click or uh, control click on XUX, which is basically the little pen tool, uh, the part that you pen tool out, the letters that you pen tool it out. Uh, click also on the circles, which is that's why you're holding select, so you bo select both the layers. Control J to duplicate, and then Control E to merge them together. And that way we have this here. I'm going to change this to white really quickly, so that everything is white. And then pretty much, rasterize this layer really quickly. Move it to the left a little bit, or the right, I should say. I'm just holding shift so it's straight, and I'm just going to get my arrow keys. And then pretty much, all I'm going to do is go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it maybe like, what, three pixels? Actually, 2.5 was pretty good. So 2.5 is pretty nice. And then right away, I'm just going to change this because it's on white already. I'm going to change this from normal to overlay. I'm just going to duplicate this layer a couple times, though, because right now, uh, the lighting effect that I have here is not too, like, crazy. So if I put it on overlay, it's going to be very... It's a very it's in, it's in a very dark canvas where it's, like, uh, zero brightness right now. So if I just duplicate this layer a couple times, it will start to pop up a little bit more. You can see that's what I'm doing here. That's how I get that very distorted, uh, nice, cool lighting effect there. So that's what I'm going to do for that. I'm just gonna group these together. Actually, I can really merge them together. No, I cannot. I cannot merge them together. I remember, XUS. We'll call this what? Lighting. There we go. So now I'm pretty much done with that. There's not really much to it besides like doing other things. Like uh, what? What do I want to show you? I can show you how to do the little circle thing around it. Uh, the little like other thing around, it, the little plexi thing around it, which look pretty cool. Whatever letter you're doing or over the letters you're doing. So all you gotta do is like it's really simple as well. Make, uh, make another new layer. And your keyboard for the little circle thing. We're gonna make a nice little circle. And we're gonna make this circle white. So I'm gonna change my foreground to white, alt backspace. And then pretty much, I'll make it a little bit more smaller. Pretty much, I'm just gonna click and hold alt. So click and drag, hold alt. And then just put these little circles in like areas like so. That should be good. Should be good enough, right? I'm just gonna group these together as well. And I'm pretty much gonna make another new layer. Use the pen tool. And now I'm just going to basically pen tool. I'm going to probably connect the dots really quick because I'm going to just connect all these dots and whatever order, it really doesn't matter. But once you've connected them, you want to close out any space. I'm just going to click over here. Why not? It's, it's like, just click inside the circle. That's why I made the circle big enough. Uh, click over here as well. I just want to close all these spaces. And then pretty much now I just want to make triangles. So pretty much the only way to make triangles is to go like through, like, you know, whatever. So I'm going to just click over here to make a triangle here. Uh, there's already a triangle here, but I, if I really want to, I can just click over here as well and make another like little thing. Boom, there's another triangle. You know, you see, I'm just basically like overlapping. So I can click all the way over here as well. And then that's pretty good. That's good for now, right now. That's pretty good. So I did that. That's how you get that really like very mixy little plexi feel to it, right? Whatever. Right click, stroke path, brush, press OK. It's a white brush already. That's cool. So now, uh, pretty much what you can do is I'm gonna change my I'm gonna make sure my my circles gonna stay white But my overlay I'm gonna put this uh, this little the lines that I had just now the little layer the, the layer the new layer I have here put it on overlay Just like so and then we're gonna do the same thing before I just duplicated a couple times What 
three times is good enough. Just because we're in a dark canvas still, group that together. Looks pretty good. So right away, this is already done. This is our new, like, what is our like little box around or whatever. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Drag this down here. I'm going to rasterize it just because. So control E. And then pretty much, I'm just going to go to filter, Gaussian blur, same exact effect or same exact as before. So what, 3% I had, uh, 3 pixels. Put this on overlay. Move it to the right a little bit. And pretty much, sorry, I'm a little cousin kid and that was so adorable. I duplicated a couple times. <laughs> He's like, are you done? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm gonna keep that in there. I was dumb cute. Um, so pretty much there. All you gotta do is I just duplicated it a couple times. So on the overlay, I just the same thing as before as I did to the text, uh, just to the little uh, little lines that I have here. So that's pretty much that. I'm gonna call this what box lighting. There we go. Right, and that's what I pretty much have here as well. You can see like in the background I have that there. But if I really if I kind of like. I kind of like that, but also what I did on that little example here, I don't want to go too far into it because I know I just, this is what I did for the banner part, but like, I just want to show you, I did connect, you know, some of the things like this. I made more lines inside just because I thought it looked pretty cool, right? That's what I did. Right click, stroke, brush, boom. I put that on overlay. I duplicated it a couple times, not too much. What, once is good enough for that? Actually, one layer is fine pretty much there. Yeah, cool. There we go. And then pretty much after this part, I was basically done. So that's the little plexus part. That's how I got the little plexi cool little effect there. It's, it's like I said, it's very time consuming, but it's at, it, the end results are pretty cool. Because once I've done with this, I can, you know, to make it look really cool, I'm going to just put that around here in the middle. To make it look cool, I can just put some simple lighting effects. So a simple like little bleed light or like leak light on the top. So pretty much a nice little white soft brush, right? Zero hardness. Click once on the top on a new layer. Get some lighting effect in there, right? As well as maybe why not just put like little color in there. So I had the yellow, right? So I'm just gonna try and take this yellow. And I'm also gonna try and take this blue. And pretty much with the brush on the new layer below this one. We'll click once with the yellow up here, and we'll like click once with the blue down here. And that should be good, like so. Right, and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer. And to get this little like particle thing, what I did, I just put the duplicated light layer on distort or dissolve, and then just lower the opacity down. The more lower the opacity goes, the more dissolving it gets. So there we go. Just simple little little like little little light things there, like little light bulb, like I don't know, like what do you call it? like fireflies? There we go. That's what I kind of like feel when I got that. And then pretty much after that, I just put a simple CC, which was basically brightness and contrast. Pretty much that, like so. And then maybe a little curve as well, just to try and get my darkers a little more darker and my lights a little more lighter. So a simple little small S. And then another one small leak light on the top, leak light with white. Boom, soft brush. Click on the top. And then there, that's pretty much what I did for this. But I just did it in more of like a uniform way. I was actually, you know, of course, taking my time. And as well, I just found a cool little plexi stock. You can make your own as well because you already know how to make your own now. But I just kind of, I found a cool little plexi stock, dragged it in, and then pretty much just erase it a little bit. And pretty much just put it on a cool little thing. So lighting, lighting color doesn't look too bad. And there you go. You get this little cool little plexi effect. So please let me know if you guys like things like this please i would love it to see if you guys i really just want to see if you guys like uh text effects of course not all the effects are going to apply to you maybe you won't like them or whatever but i will put out as many as possible i can probably upload many times a week i don't know it depends if you guys like it or not but you know if you guys want to see cool more effects like this please leave a like tell me down uh tell me tell me down below in the description below geez or in the comment section below that's why i was messing up anyway also follow me on twitter at sysohq please check out my self i selfie.com slash sysohq as well for any pre-mades and packs as low as five dollars also you can get some revamp pre-made revamps for eight dollars and you can also get everything in my store for uh for one price which is thirty dollars and anything that comes out on my store actually gets emailed for you for free it's called the everything pack it's for thirty dollars one good purchase of thirty dollars and you get everything in my store including future products for free so that's pretty awesome so yes thank you guys so much and please let me know if you guys Please, just let me know. Just please let me know if you guys want to see more things like this. Also, tweet me out if you made any cool little project with this little plexi stuff. Thank you guys so much. Since so, so we show out, peace. Yo, did you stay? Did you stay after the video? You're, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. Did you do this though? Look, if you make a new layer really quickly, right? If you use your pen tool, 
I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I didn't, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. But literally the reason why I made you guys make triangles is because if you follow this triangle, like if you just follow a triangle inside like one of the little plexi things that you just did, also the reason why I also made more like little lines in between is to make more triangles. That way I can like right click, fill it, use white, delete the path, put it on overlay, lower the opacity a little bit, and get this <laughs>